All right. Well, listen, our first guest up tonight is his first time on cable TV. Let's, let's give him a late night welcome for strong man, Eric J. Morse. Yeah, come on. Good evening. My name is Eric Moss. I am a performing strongman. Before I begin, I need you guys to understand that everything I do is legitimate. First one up, this is a structural steel bar. This is what they use to make buildings and bridges and that sort of thing. It's generally not meant to be bent by normal humans, but I am not a normal human. Not finished yet. Superman ain't the only one that can bend steel. Now, performing strongmanism is an old form of entertainment that was popular about a hundred or so years ago. Basically, in the 1800s and early 1900s, entertainers would walk around doing unbelievable feats of strength. But an entertainer wasn't recognized as his, by his peers as a strongman until he could bend one of these. This is a 60-penny nail, and the only thing that I have for protection is some soft suede. Nailed it. Wow. This is a frying pan. They say that they're dishwasher safe. I don't think it's strongman safe, though. Ooh, can you hear that? I have one more feed for you guys. This is a steel reinforcing bar. This is what they put into concrete to give it tensile strength. Basically, this is the same, same thing that you drive on top of with your car every single day. And you guys saw me bending some stuff, but I'm gonna bend this one a little bit different. This is a mechanics cloth. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put this cloth up by my nose, like so. And then I'm gonna take this reinforcing bar, put it right on the bridge of my nose, and then I'm gonna pull down. Now to get a feel for this, everybody take your finger, put it on that spot right between your eyes. That's where the steel bar is gonna be. And when I do this one, I like to get a countdown from 10. Oh, gosh. And I'll cue you guys when to do it. <sighs> A 
Let's get that countdown. Ten. You gotta be Nine. louder than that. I'm bending Eight. steel with my face. Seven. Six. everybody. <laughs> come on, come have a seat. Come on, one more time, Eric Morse, everybody. This is unbelievable because I used to be in a concrete union years ago. This, they use this to make buildings and, you know, Crazy, watch. Unbelievable. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you, Johnny? What's going on? Uh, I come bearing gifts. What do you have? This Money? Is the, the book I wrote. <laughs> oh, man. Performing Strong Man's exper Experience. Check it out. <laughs> awesome. We will get into this during our conversation. You were born in, where were you? You said you were born in New Jersey, weren't you? I've been born and raised in New Jersey. I've lived there my entire life. Livingston? And I grew up in Rockaway, okay. and I live in Hopatcong now. All right. Now listen, you, you, before you started with all of this uh, strongman stuff, so you're a personal trainer, and you still do it. You run your own shop, right? Yep. Talk about it. My personal training studio is in Parsippany, New Jersey. Right. It is in, kind of in the armpit of 80 and 287. I know exactly where that is. Yeah. My cousin had a shop over there. Did you ever hear of modern martial arts? I have not. It was right there. They closed down about a year and a half ago. He was there about for 10 years. You know, and people seem to eat up this whole strongman thing. Oh, this is great. Yeah. And, um, you know, I sort of discovered the whole performing strongman concept when I was a personal trainer. I always came at it from the standpoint that if people were going to pay me money, I needed to learn things that they couldn't find on their own. And I found this small little subculture, and these guys are doing unbelievable things. And I'm like, these guys know something that the rest of us don't know. And what I discovered from them is that strength isn't about what's here. It's about what's up here it's on your mind. and in here. Well, your mind controls pretty much everything. Right, like right. When, when you I, get mad and you get raged, you could, you could do things that you, you never could do before. Absolutely. And when, you know, like, let's say that there's a mother who's never picked up a weight in her life. All of a sudden, she sees her kid trapped under a car she's able to summon up an incredible level of power. Now, is that just a miracle? Or is that in all of us already? We just don't know how to tap it yet. You don't know how to tap it. Right. It's everything. Right. And I was personally mentored by New Jersey Superman Greg Metonic, and he came into my life at a very, very difficult time when I was wondering what the future was, and it was out of the goodness of his heart that he offered to take me under his wing to teach me these unbelievable things. And unfortunately, I was his last student before he passed away. So now it's up to me to teach the world yeah. what I know. Like, it filled up the book. My, the rest of my life was before that. It was only two chapters. So I know there's keys of being a strongman. Is that part of it? Absolutely. Mind over matter? Absolutely. Any other tips out there for anybody that want to try what you're doing? I would say learn the history of everything that we do. And in particular, look up a book called The Spiritual Journey of Joseph Greenstein. Uh -huh. His stage name was The Mighty Adam, and he was even smaller than me and could do unbelievable things. He would take spikes and bite through them, like spit the other end out and take chains and bite one link at a time, hold back airplanes with his hair. Cool stuff. Now, you just broke some kind of record. What was it? The Guinness Book? When did it just happen today? Tell everybody. Inform me. I just, I don't know. I just heard before. I set the world record, and I just got it officiated earlier today. I wasn't even sure if I, if it was going to be official by the time I got here, which is why I didn't tell you about uh -huh. it, because I didn't want to count the chickens before they hatch. But I bent eight reinforcing bars on the bridge of my nose in less than a minute. Jesus. And the only reason I stopped is I ran out of reinforcing bars. <laughs> Holy shit. That's great. Come on. It was rough. Thank you. So what are you going to be, the 2016 Guinness Book? Well, this is officiated by Record Holders Republic. Okay, I heard of them. Yeah. Well, good. What's your future plans? Well, in the audience, my beautiful fiance is there. Oh, yeah, where is she? Stick your hand up. Hello. Someone waving. Yeah. 
and some of Good my, luck. my future official family is going to be there as well. So I'll be joining their family do as you, she joins mine. Does she have a PC Richards appliance card or no? <laughs> Probably not. You might need them with all the stuff you're gonna break and bend. <laughs> Don't piss them off. Make sure you make them some good eggs and ham in the morning. Well, listen, Eric, all the best. I want you to come and visit us at least once a year now with some new stuff. How's that? Absolutely. Social Sounds media, like a plan. people can find you. Absolutely. Strongman Eric Moss on Facebook. I have an Instagram page for Eric J. Moss. Beautiful. All the best. I see good things for you in the future. All right, everybody. Eric J. Moss. Thank you very much, everybody. All right, Eric J. Morse, we see seeing him real soon. But we forgot to tell you before, Vinny, everyone in the studio audience goes home with a Happy Heart CD. So let's give it up for Vinny. Mr. Right. Christmas, you're going to love it.